Hello from Slovenia again. I will play with uh, transparent bass again and this time I will use American flood floatrol thin down with water for my bass and I will dump some paint on um, for some kind of effect on this um, canvas. It's reused canvas that I painted with some black uh, and white and this will be what it will be my negative space because I will use Floetrol for my transparent base that it will dry clear. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I explained more in my previous video that I will put in cards and in description. So I will just pour a coat on and as you can see it's white now but it will dry transparent and we will see all that it will be our negative space like it is when it will be dry. And I will use some paints mixed kind of in a bloom technique, with the bloom technique. What kind of it is? It is mixed with um, Josonia varnish and deep base. And I have some black and white mixed with Australian Floetrol for some lacing and some effects. Maybe I will play with other others too, but this is what I still have mixed. So I will just use that. I will just wet the sides too because I have this this will dry transparent so it will be you know, just a transparent base over this what is here, so don't pay attention to do it, I don't know, perfect or something. I will spin just once more now, because I don't know if I will spin while I, when I will do that, when my pattern will be on. So I want kind of nice coat of Floetrol transparent base. I love this technique because it's kind of, you know, interesting when it dry, what you will see. Not just how colors will look, you get some really nice stuff. Where is my torch? And I didn't use Floetrol as my transparent base yet, so I used my binder, acrylic binder, so let's see what this will create. And I will pour some colors into my cup. I just have to go look where you still see the cup. See it here? Yeah. So I will pour a little bit of black cell activator on the bottom. And then I will add some this little pig, pigments unicorn. And I really don't want a lot, a lot of paint. So this is Prussian blue. And some flamingo from this little piggy pigments too. And some permanent blue violet. 
this is what I had mixed, you know, with this mixture. That's why I'm using that, and I think that it will be nice. Um, looking combination and some white CA and some black one too just drizzling into this cup and now so when you throw your paint on canvas it depends how hard you throw from which angle if you go like that it will you know spread differently you can use just you can do it on canvas like it is you can spin it while you do that and i will kind of go just like down more down with kind of middle force and i will spin my canvas between Just wait a second and I can already see the flow troll reacts quite differently than my Bissner binder. And here you can decide you want to do more, you want to leave it like it is. Normally it's not good to go once more or I just think so. Because I normally, when I did with my, but here kind of looks that paint sinks into the flow troll. That it's our transparent base. But because it's transparent, it should show anyway. If it will not eat all the pattern, I don't know. I kind of don't like the composition. I kind of want to throw a little bit of something here. So let's do that. Maybe I should do it not spinning while I'm not spinning it. If we, we will ruin it, I don't know. Ooh, not enough paint. So I have to add a little more paint in a new cup. No, I will go just in this cup. Let's throw one more. I didn't use blue this time. I don't know. We will see. I kind of like the organic look of the splashes. I don't know. Let's wait for this to collect and then I will spin it just one little time more. Let it dry. I don't know. I don't see as much colors and effects as I get when I use my Bissner binder as a transparent base, but we will see how this will dry. So here is a close-up of this experiment. I like the 
color shift, big ears, um, I like it, it's a very abstract piece, like this pop of green when I turn my camera, this flamingo, I believe. Um, and I had so much fun. <laughs> this was just to release some stress with paint, maybe. Uh, just a second, what will happen? No, it's not. Uh, so, just an abstract piece from me today and a lot of fun thanks for watching and see you on the next one bye